Hi, Robert Beauchamp for training on the imaging today. We'll be talking a little bit about the use of a digital camera with the software. What's nice is once you're, uh, you're into uh, taking this type of a, a protocol, uh, when you do want to import the images into the software, you would just you know, go to that station uh, plug in the camera or remove the memory card from the camera, plug it into the memory card reader, and then you would be able to uh, import images by clicking on that icon. So once you click on that icon, uh, you can then source your camera or your card reader here uh, just by clicking and trying to find it through the, uh, the tree. Uh, but once you've done this, the software will remember the last place you went and automatically open that, uh, that area and automatically load the images that were taken. So in this sequence, you see I've taken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 images. And I also have the choice within the software to program the sequence of images and program a mount slash scheme around this image um, organization. So we have created already some templates that has a default sequence, which is all 19 images. We have a 10 image sequence. We have a six, eight, and then it's very easy for you to create your own by just clicking on the small arrow below the green dot. Add a record of sequence. You can type in whatever you'd like that to be. Sequence. Click the check mark to save. The computer will tell you, okay, tell me what the sequence is. Hit escape on the keyboard and it will be saved. So when you're taking these images, this is where you're training the staff to do maybe a full face. Then there's a logistical progression of how you should be taking the pictures. Then you move in a little bit closer. You can frame the mouth with the camera screen and then take a second photo with lips. You can then use retractors to retract the, the lips and cheeks to see the dentition. Then in occlusion and out of occlusion so you can kind of see what the incisal edge looks like you can take a buckle and a buckle and then an arch and an arch and then if you wanted to do the lingual with the intro camera after you could but in this case you could use a mirror also and just take a smaller area and we can crop these images later if you'd like but if this is the sequence you can then program your boxes accordingly so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then maybe nine and 10, and then hit escape. So once this sequence is recorded and you're getting into this routine, it will remain the same and it will always, again, default back to the last used sequence so the computer knows. So what happens is it becomes a very simple, easy protocol for your staff. They take all the pictures in this sequence that you train them on. They come and plug the card reader or camera to the computer. On the computer in the software, you're going to hit that icon that we hit before, that little arrow coming in, which means importing into the software. What the staff is going to do next is just go select all files they're gonna click on import and exit. And if the right sequence is chosen, they will all be placed in the proper positioning, in the proper orientation, and you just click import and exit. So automatically the software does this all for you. You come back into the file and all of your images have been taken and laid out in an anatomical format. So it's very easy now for the staff to double click the pictures up, you can then double click again, and you can now look at all the images full screen and go through that whole sequence of images.